Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from mteltestprep.com. We're going to relook at number 12 on the general curriculum practice test. First I have my problem, and one of the first steps I always do is I read the problem over to sort of get a, an image of what the problem is asking me to do. So it reads this way. The prime factorization of a natural number n can be written as n equals pr squared where p and r are distinct prime numbers. How many factors does n have, including 1 and itself? Well, I read it over, and sometimes you've got to read it over a couple times. And when I read it over those second times, I look for those key words. Prime factorization. A natural number n, which means I have to know what a natural number is. Prime numbers not just prime numbers, I also need to know what distinct prime numbers mean, because that's a little unclear. And it also throws in the word factors. Wow, there's a lot of concepts here. Well, let's start with the word factors. For example, if I had 12, I'm focusing on the word factors here. So, what are the factors of 12? Well, Factors are numbers that go into another number evenly. 1 divides into 12, so does 12. 12 goes into 12 once. 1 goes into 12 12 times. So I'm going to pull out the factor pairs that are in the number 12. Okay, so it looks like 12 has 6 factors. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And I made an upside-down rainbow to sort of help me um, think about how many factors are in 12. Great. So this is our concept for factors. These are the numbers that go into a larger number evenly. And when I say evenly, I mean um, there's no remainder left over. Okay, let's look at our second word here. Came with prime factorization. Now. If, if what we just did were the factors of 12, let me write that again, 1, 2, 6, 3, and 4, what's prime factorization? It sounds kind of, sounds the same. Well, it's actually different. So I want you to think, here's the fa how you find factors of a number. And the prime factorization is... Uh, going to go something like this. If we take 12, I'm going to pull out numbers that multiply to get 12, like 2 and 6. These are two factors of 12, thus the factorization part. But I'm only interested in the prime numbers, so I, I circle the 2 and then I'm going to break up the 6 into a 2 times a 3. In other words, 12 is sort of made up of 2 times 2 times 3. And this we consider to be the prime factorization of 12. I could rewrite 12 as 3 to the first times 2 to the second. This is 12 written in prime factorization form. Okay, so let's go back to this problem now. The prime factor... Bye-bye.